Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie if you're new here and today I am going to be sharing with you an entire stack of picture books that we love. I have shared this with you guys over on Instagram and several of you have mentioned you want to see an entire video and I did mention I was going to try and get one of these filmed. So here I am sharing all of our favorite picture books. All of these are thrifted, I believe. So I'm going to try and link what I can if I can find it on Amazon or thrift books one of the two I'll try and link these. Um, these are some of our favorites we're loving and I'm kind of hoping maybe I'll do a seasonal video like this on maybe like the fall picture books we love or the winter ones, so on and so forth. These are kind of summery. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're just strictly summer, but these are the ones we're loving. And if you guys are new here, Noble is my oldest son. He is two and a half and then I have a one-year-old son. So right now I mainly just read to Noble in the mornings when he wakes up and then nap times and bedtimes and then pretty much whenever he wants me to read a book to him. So we have like different baskets around our house. There's one over here and it's like a huge basket that I have all just like paper back books in. And then I have one over here that has board books in and then I'm planning on getting a couple more baskets to go upstairs in the boys room to store more books because that's one thing I've decided I don't care about being a minimalist on just because I find so much value in them and so does um, Noble and I kind of just want to feed that love for reading in our kids so books are something I want to constantly have a fresh stack of and that doesn't mean they have to be brand new finding them thrifted saves you a ton of money and you find lots of new titles you've never read before and they're usually some of them are really good condition some are well loved either way we love books, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't really have a rough number on how many there are that I'm gonna share with you. I just picked all of our favorites we're loving, and I am gonna be doing a blog post on this soon, and that way you guys can go and save it to your Pinterest board to be able to look at later. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna share all of our favorite books. I'm gonna start off with some favorites that I'm like obsessed with, and these are some that Noble loves too. I actually found think both of these at a thrift store I'm not really sure so the first one is maple this is the cutest book ever this is by Lori Nichols and evidently it's from this Dolly Parton's imagination library that they send you books in the mail which I think is actually kind of cool I'm gonna look into that because several books I've thrifted have come from that um, but I love this because it has the cutest illustrations and cutest little storyline and if you guys aren't familiar with Charlotte Mason she talks about living books and that's kind of just books that are going to help your children learn about nature or the world or have a really good story behind it and it's not anything that's you know really cheesy or there's no thought put into it it's just something that has really good vibrant illustrations that is going to spark creativity there's lots of different meanings behind it but it's just a summary so I kind of like to go off of that looking for books um, but yeah this is talks about a maple tree and her sister it's so cute so this is definitely one that we are loving Noble loves this one and then this one this is called Miss Maple Seeds again it's from that Dolly Parton's imagination library this is by Eliza Wheeler and Noble loves this one this one I personally like reading too because the illustrations are really beautiful and the storyline is so cool. Here's just a glimpse. And I love this one because it kind of teaches them which seeds come from which trees. And so Noble knows the acorn. We have a maple tree in our backyard that puts these off every spring. And so he knows what these look like. He calls these maple seeds. And so I've been able to teach him what certain seeds look like and what trees they come from. Um, but this storyline is really cute. It's about this lady named Miss Maple and she gathers seeds and cleans them up and takes care of them and then spring comes and she helps helps them fly away so they can go grow and just really cute storyline. So we really like this one. Really cute. The next ones we have been loving are several that have been illustrated by Marla Frazee. This is Everywhere Babies. This is the cutest book ever. I think I thrifted this off of Thrift Books. It's by Susan Myers. 
and it's like the cutest little story just about babies. I love Marla Frazee's illustrations, so we really like that one. The next one that we have loved, this one Noble loves too. This is called Bunny My Honey, and if you guys are familiar with the author who wrote Guess How Much I Love You, the girl that illustrated that book is Anita Jerom, and she wrote this book. This book is the cutest thing ever. They have another one to this too. Um, but again, I love the illustrations. Noble loves the very beginning pages because we'll go through and he'll tell me what each one of these things are, the pine cone, the apple, the snail, the mushroom, the acorn, and then throughout the book, you can try and find all these things. But yeah, this one's so cute. I just love her illustrations. They are precious and Noble loves them too. So just really sweet. So we definitely love this one. Okay, the next couple ones. This one I've shared with you guys so many times. <laughs> This is a favorite of mine, and Noble loves it too. The Seven Silly Eaters. If you guys are new to my channel, I talk about this book a lot. It's so cute. Um, the illustrations are by Marla Frazee as well. It's actually written by Mary Ann Hoberman. Super cute. Just really cute illustrations, really detailed. Noble loves looking at all the things in the pictures and talking about them. And There's like different seasons. Like there's the fall. So yeah, we love this one. Okay, and a couple more. This is a very original book that most people probably own. This is Corduroy. I recently found this at a thrift store and Noble loves this book already. And I know they have several different like knockoff stories of Corduroy, but this one we've been reading a lot and Noble loves. Okay, the next one, this one I think I thrifted recently. This is called Going to Sleep on the Farm. This is by Wendy Chayette Lewison. And it's really cute because it talks about this little boy and dad on one side and he's asking, it's a toddler boy, and he's asking his dad how do certain ant farm animals go to sleep and then he's telling him and then it talks about all the different farm animals on the farm and when they go to sleep. Just really cute. So Noble loves this one. A couple more that you guys are probably already familiar with. And that is Thomas the Train. Noble really loves Thomas. And so I've thrifted several different ones. This one, um, he likes the special delivery. Honestly, any Thomas books, Noble loves. So this one's kind of cool. You read one side and then you flip it and then you can read another story. This is called Thomas and the Frank Cars. And then this is a Dr. Seuss book, Stop Train Stop. And that's another good one. Okay, another couple ones that we love is Curious George. That's one cartoon that Noble loves to watch is Curious George. And so I've been able to thrift a couple here and there. I think we have a few more upstairs in their room. Um, but Curious George, Dinosaur Discovery, he loves this one. And then this one I thrifted, it's actually really old. It's been colored on and stuff and it's very well loved. But this was actually, the last copyright was 1975, so this is a really old book. This is probably an original um, one that <laughs> is probably from some grandparents or something, but really old, very well loved. You can tell this has been read so many times, um, but we read through this one a lot because Noble loves this one, so Curious George is a favorite. Okay, and the next one, we love Little Bear. They actually do have a cartoon I remember watching when I was little, so we put that on for Noble a couple times. There's a fly on my camera. And so I have a couple of these. These are just like the Little Bear chapter books. And what's great about these is they do have pictures. And so I can like read a chapter here and there and Noble will still sit down and listen and look at the pictures. And so it, these can hold his attention because they do have all these pictures in them. Um, but really cute illustrations. The Little Bear is always really fun. The next couple ones that we love are the my first Little House books. And these are the only two we have right now. We have Dance at Grandpa's and then Winter Days in the Big Woods. So I have my eye on a couple more of these that I would like to get. And these again have great illustrations. Really catches Noble's attention. And he will sit through and let me read these to him. So yeah, so evidently they have like a whole slew you can choose from. So we definitely love these. 
especially because they're Little House on the Prairie, and I remember reading these as a little girl, and I feel like these can be gender neutral, like boys or girls will love these. So, really like those. Okay, the last couple ones, we really like Berenstein Bears. So, this is the only one I've thrifted. It's graduation day, um, but I feel like Berenstein Bears is really wholesome, and they have really good morals and values behind the storyline. I remember watching this when I was little, too. So, just very classic. Okay couple last two that I thrifted. This one is Black Bear Cub and this one is really fun because it actually has really uh, cool illustrations like there's a woodpecker, there's like bumblebees and lots of illustrations and pictures that will hold their attention. Noble loves to like hunt for things in pictures and so he will like point to certain things and tell you what it is likes to find things. This one we've been loving too. Lots of really cute pictures. And then the last one I recently found at a thrift store and it's one I've been wanting to get for so long and that's the Money Tree. Really pretty illustrations. This is by Sarah Stewart and let me just show you a little bit. You guys can kind of see. So yeah. Really pretty illustrations. So Anyway, that's kind of what I like to look for in books, especially because whenever it's a book that I have to read over and over again, um, I want it to be not only enjoyable for him, but enjoyable, enjoyable for me. I know it's about them, but like I feel like it makes it fun for us too if it's a really pretty book. Um, but also that kind of teaches them what to admire and what to find value in like picture book wise. and what is pretty and what is just like cheap and like cartoony. So yeah, so I'm just trying to build our library of picture books that will spark creativity and just that love for learning. So anyway, that is all the picture books that we are living right now. We have a ton, but these ones we've been reading a lot. So we also have several Osborne books we love that are upstairs. We like the Little Blue Truck series. Um, what else? I think that's about it. That I can think of that we love so yeah I hope you guys got some ideas like I said my son is two and a half and these hold his attention pretty well and you can like I said find tons at thrift stores Goodwill has a ton that are cheap garage sales any of that sort of thing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the comments down below I would love to know what picture books you guys love I'm always looking for new ideas and new books there was a fly <laughs> Um, new books to, to read to Noble. So let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I would love it if you'd stick around. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.